finally, I have the missing piece and the world needs to know about it. This is really life changing work. And just share who I really am and even just embracing who I really am. Life changed so fast. It is truly life changing. Welcome back to our weekly wake up. If you are new, please say hello and let us welcome you. If you are one of our longtime followers, welcome back. We are so happy to have you here. My name is Sarah Longoria, your host for this beautiful event. The weekly wake up is all about coming back to ourselves, releasing all the stuff that isn't us and is keeping us stuck and icky feeling and stressed and all the stuff, recoding that deep part of us, our DNA for the things that we desire and want so that we can feel revived, we can rise and we can feel amazing in this human experience. Because the human experience, guys, is supposed to be so much better than it is for most of us. Yay, Martina, I'm glad you're back. But a lot of us are feeling the struggle. And so if you haven't been here for a while and you're back, we have changed the format of our weekly wake ups and we actually do the straight up releasing and healing on here. So I'm going to talk for a little bit. Then we're going to literally use the RRT and do some tapping to remove the stuff keeping us stuck. And then we're going to anchor in to the good. Because what's happening for so many of us, right? This week is all about letting in all the good. And there was a time in my life where I didn't let in all the good because I was scared it was going to go away because I was scared that I don't even know, like I couldn't handle it. I couldn't, it wasn't for me. And, you know, I, I call this in life, the backhanded bitch slap, like the backhanded bitch slap. And I call it that because often in life, People, if you've ever heard the story of crabs, I don't know if you've ever seen, if you put a bunch of crabs in a bucket, if one crab tries to get out, the other crab will pull that crab back down. It's real hard. And that's very much what our life often does. It's very much what humanity often does to us. Those of us who are looking at the world thinking, you know what? I don't think I have to struggle this much. I don't think it has to be this constant uphill battle. I don't think I have to have issues with my kids and issues with my spouse and issues with money. Like, isn't this supposed to be like fun? It is. But we have created this world of struggle. We have created this world of just constant sacrifice. And we've been fed this rhetoric for a long time that that's just how it is, right? Can't be that good. Other shoes going to fall. We hear stuff like this all the time. We hear this stuff all the time and we live lives always expecting the worst, always expecting the worst, always planning for the worst. It's how we live as humans. It feels scary to have it all, as Wendy said. It feels scary to have it all because what if it all goes away? What if I know what it's like to have everything I've ever wanted, but then it gets taken from me? That is worse than just never knowing it at all. Because back in our DNA, we believe that that's what's going to happen. Because we've been coded that way for centuries and centuries to believe that it doesn't get to be that good for us. And a lot of it is systematic coding so that many of us work and support very few of us. But we're shifting as humans. We're shifting into a world that looks different. We're shifting into a world that is going to be much more collaborative, is much more collective. A world where many have amazing lives and opportunities and abundance, abundance and access to more not just a few. But in order for us to even be able to access that, we literally have to recode our DNA. Literally. That's why so many of us just bump up against it and we think it's not for us, it's just for them. 
because it's been ingrained in us systematically and reinforced with our environment. And so the first step is releasing all of that that isn't ours. The second step is reestablishing the truth. And then the third step is starting to look around our environment and figure out what's reinforcing the old that we need to depart from and let go of. And how can we bring in more stuff that's enforcing the new, what we want to happen. So we are going to start removing this. Now, if you're new to our world and you've never been here and you're like, what are we doing? Feel free to leave now and actually go into the main feed of the app and check out our three day or our three module free rapid relief technique course. This actually teaches you the rapid relief technique. Now it's not hard, so you can just follow along with me, but it is an emotional release. Most of us do not know how to release our emotions, except for a lot of people in this room with me, because you guys have been in my world, you know how to release your emotions. Most of us often don't like to even go in deep enough to get these emotions out, but we do not evolve without emoting. How our DNA changes, how our body changes, how our mind changes, how everything changes is actually through emoting. That's what actually creates the true lasting change. Everything else just becomes surface level and you tend to keep having the ups and downs and have to keep motivating yourself in the external world. We don't want that And Hey You Human. We want the true transformation that lasts. And in order to do that, we have to feel, to heal, so that we can rise. And that's what we do at Hey You Human. And it is changing people's lives everywhere. But it can can be kind of weird. If you've never done it before, if you're not an emotional person, it can be weird. But you are an emotional person. You've just been trained and coded to believe you're not so that you are kept in your place and not getting to go and live and be who you are meant to be in this world. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to release, we're going to restore, and then we're going to rise. So it's very easy. We just tap like this. Now, if you're familiar with tapping, EFT. RRT, also known as the rapid relief technique, which we have created and teach, is different. It's different. One, we're using different points. We're not using the karate chop point, but we say something different. And how this works is the tapping that I'm doing, just follow along with a moderate tapping. Don't hurt yourself. Don't do it too light. Other one's down here. The first thing this tapping does is it actually calms your amygdala. So it actually calms your brain and takes you out of the stress response so that you can actually feel. A lot of us can't even feel because we're kept in a constant stress state. And your body doesn't like you to feel when you're in a stress state because you need to survive. But we need to move out of survival and move into happiness. So this starts to calm you. And then it also sends a vibrational signal into your meridians It gets all the gunk out that you've been pushing down since you hit this earth. And if you're one of the people in our memberships, we also have a paid membership. And there, you can dive a whole lot deeper into all of this. So if you are ready to really transform and really get intentional about your healing and shifting your life, that's the place to be. And it's $97 a month, and it's incredible. So... If you want more, we got it. But in the meantime, we're going to start moving some of this. So all you have to do is repeat after me. Just repeat what I'm saying. Even if it sounds terrible and negative, you're not attracting more of the negative. Remember that a negative, you're already attracting. It's already here. It's already happening to you. Saying it while tapping actually gets the emotion and allows you to feel it and actually release it from your body so that you're no longer attracting it. So let's start. (sighs) It can't be this good. Not for me. It doesn't get to be this good for me. I wish it did. I want it to. I keep believing It gets to be good, but it never does. It never 
does. Something always gets messed up. Always. Always. The other shoe always is going to drop. I think I get these things. I think I can do these things. But I can't. And this is what I call the backhanded bitch slap with the crabs in the bucket. When people make you think you can do things, they say things to you like, oh, my God, you've lost so much weight. Was it really hard? Do you think you can keep it off? Oh, my God. I am so excited that you got that new job. Yay, you. Gosh, you're probably working so hard now, aren't you? And I remember this, guys, when my business took off and it started to get big. We like, oh, my God, I love watching what you do. It is incredible to see what you've grown. Are you like so busy now? Like you don't even know which way is left or right. Or do you even get to see your kids? It's like they can't believe it just gets to be good. They have to find somewhere where things are bad. And this is what we're trying to break. And so I want you to feel into that. I want you to feel into all those times people didn't believe in you. People made you feel small. People congratulated you just then to fucking backhand bitch slap you. Because you know what? They don't believe it gets to be good for you. Because they don't believe it gets to be good for them. And so keep repeating after me. I just want it to be good. I just want things to be easy. But they're not. They're not. Not for me. Maybe for other people. But not for me. It can't be good for me. It's scary for it to be good. It's scary to have it all. I'm so scared to have everything I want. I'm so scared for it all to happen. Because then I might lose everything. If I get everything I want, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose everything. People are going to judge me. I'm going to lose the ones I love the most. People won't be able to relate to me. They won't get me. If everything's good in my life, how will I talk to people? If everything's good in my life, I won't be loved. If everything's good in my life, it's all going to come crashing down. The other shoe always falls. It can't be this good. 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 It can't be this easy. It can't be this easy. Something bad always happens, especially to me. And this was something, guys, I tap on a lot. It can't be this good. It can't be this good. Whenever little things start to happen, I'm like, it can't be this good. It can't be this easy. It can't be this good. It can't be this easy. I'm so scared. I'm so scared to let all the good in. I'm so scared to let all of my power in. What if it's too much? What if I hurt people? What if letting in all the good hurts everybody I love? What if letting in all the good destroys me? That doesn't even make sense. But what if it does? 
What if letting in all the good hurts everybody I love? And what if it destroys me? If I let in all the good, if I let in all the money, I'm going to be all alone. I'm going to be all alone. I just know it. I just know it. And then I'm going to lose it all. And I'm going to be such a joke. I'm going to be such a joke. If I let in all the good, I'll mess it all up. I'll mess it all up. Because I mess things up. I mess things up. And then I'm going to be so ashamed of myself. I'm going to be so ashamed of myself. I already am so ashamed of myself. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed of all the times I've let myself down. Of all the times I've let the people I love down. Of all the times I've messed things up. Because God, do I mess things up. I'm so forgetful. I'm so stupid. I mess things up so much. Oh, forgetful one gets me guys every time. I forget so much stuff and I procrastinate and I say I'm going to do it and I say I'm going to change my life, but then I don't. And I fail. And if I let in all the good, I'll mess it up like I always do. God, why? Why am I like this? Why is being human like this? Why is it so hard? Why is this so hard? Why is life so hard? Why is life so hard? Maybe because I'm bad. Maybe because I'm a bad girl or a bad boy if I have boys on here. Maybe because I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad, stupid, good for nothing girl or boy, or human. I'm a bad, bad girl, boy, human. I'm bad, and I don't deserve good. I don't deserve good things. I deserve to be punished. You stupid, stupid person. You should be punished. You don't get good things. You don't get good things. Let it out, Wendy. Let it out, girl. You can breathe. Let this out of your body. And if you feel like, guys, the emotion is sitting in your chest, scream. Or if you can't scream, make noise. Be like, I know it sounds weird, but a lot of this is childhood stuff being told we were bad little humans and you don't get to have that. If you don't do this for me, you don't get to have that. And so we start living our lives like that. Well, I didn't do that. So I don't get this. You didn't do that. So you don't get this. And so if you feel it in your throat, let out some noises. Ah! Let yourself feel this. Give yourself permission to let that tiny you, that two-year-old, that three-year-old, that six-year-old, that teenager, 
that early 20 something you that was living life and was making beautiful, beautiful mistakes along the way. And you were shamed for them. And you were told you were bad and you were a disappointment. Let that out of your body. Let that disappointment out of your body. Let that shame out of your body. Let that guilt out of your body. It is not yours to carry anymore. You have carried it for long enough. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Cry it, yell it, stomp your feet. Get hot like Wendy. Let it out. Let it leave your being. And when you're ready, I want you to take a deep breath. If you're still emoting and getting this out of your body, by all means, walk away, do this part later. Feel free to keep letting it come and keep letting it out of your body. Let it out. Let that energy, let that sadness, let it all just come up and out of your being. It is safe to feel these things, guys. This is how we heal. Not from cognitively understanding our emotions. Not from trying to put them into a box and figure them out. But by fully feeling them. Even if it takes hours even if it takes days, even if it takes a week and you're still just all over the place, even if you don't understand why you are crying or yelling, you have no idea the physiological processes that occur in your body when you cry, when you scream, when you do all of those things. We are so unbalanced and stressed and disease ridden. It's because our physical bodies are so unbalanced. With all this stuff inside, you start releasing it, it starts rebalancing back out. Shan, I know that was an intense one, right? (laughs) And then once we get it all out, then we come back to our human. We come back to this place. And I want you now to take some deep breaths and I want you to put your hands on your human. And I want you to say, I'm sorry. This gets me every time. Every time I apologize to my human, I cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have punished you for so long. I'm sorry I have kept so much goodness from you. I'm sorry I have felt disappointed in you. I'm sorry I have felt ashamed of you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I often touched my face. You're beautiful. And just repeat after me, guys. You're beautiful. You're incredible. Say this to yourself. If you're near a mirror, go look in the mirror. I feel like these are so much more intense when I do them because I'm looking at myself on these videos. (laughs) So it's like mirror work. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are brave. Feel that in your soul. I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to see yourself at the age of two. And I want you as your adult self to go up to your little two-year-old and hug them and say, whisper in their ear, I am so proud of you. Look at them in the eyes and say, you are wonderful. You are amazing. And you could never disappoint me. And hug that little two-year-old. And bring that two-year-old back into your heart. I want you to see yourself at six. 
And I want you to do the same thing. Whisper in her ear, his ear, their ear. I see you. I love you. You are smart. You are strong. And you could never disappoint me. It's safe to let all the good into your life. I want you to take a deep breath and bring that six-year-old you into your heart. I want you to see yourself at 12 years old. I want you to give that 12-year-old a hug and tell him, I know it's hard being a kid. It's a lot. But you're doing a great job. And you're going to make mistakes but you could never disappoint me. You're beautiful, you're loved, you're so special. And I'm so proud to know you. And I want you to bring that 12 year old into your heart. I want you to see yourself at 18 And say again to that 18 year old, you're beautiful, you're strong. The world is a better place because you're in it. And bring that 18 year old into your heart. And now I want you to see yourself now. And hold that human and look yourselves in the eyes if you're able to in a mirror. And I want you to say those same things. You are special. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are capable. And you're going to make mistakes. But they're not really mistakes. They're moments of learning, moments of expansion. And you could never disappoint me. I'm so proud to know you. I'm so proud to be you. And I'm so proud to do this life with you. Feeling in those words, taking in a deep breath and repeating after me. I am powerful. I am smart. It is safe for things to be good. Opening up our brains, our bodies, our DNA, and our nervous system to this. And say it with me and say it with intention. It is safe for things to be good. It is safe for things to be good. I get to have good things happen to me. My life is just magic and miracles one after another. The human experience is meant to be full of joy and harmony and happiness. This gets to be my experience. It is safe to let out all the emotions that need to be let out so I can believe this and know this. It gets to be good for me. It gets to be so good for me. Taking a deep breath in, giving yourself a big hug. Remembering to come back to this if there's more still coming up. And remembering this. We have spent thousands of years in the struggle. It's time for that to change. You get to be part of that change. You get to be in the good. You. You deserve good. You are worthy of good. 
You are smart and capable and incredible. And your life gets to be amazing. It gets to be full. It gets to be all of the things. You get to have good. You get to have good. It's time to release the struggle. It's time to let go of the hard and know that it gets to be easy and good. It is possible. Opening yourself up to that. Opening up your brain and your body. And I want you guys to leave this And I want you to say to yourself over and over again, what if it could just be good? What if it could just get better and better and better? And breathe that in. What if everything I wanted came to me easy? Just start opening your energy to it. What if it got to just be good all the time for me? And feel into that emotion. Because that's where we're going as humans, you guys. You right here are paving the way with others to begin setting this new understanding, this new human adventure we're on. We've mastered the struggle. We've mastered all of that. We've mastered the pain. We've mastered that. Now we're working to release all of that so we can create the next version of human. And it's going to be incredible and it's going to be amazing. And we all get to be part of it. So thank you all for joining me, for being here with us, for enjoying this work, releasing with us. If you love it, tell your friends, get people here, guys. This is free. If this was your first time and you're super emotional, go into our free community, post about it. Let us help you. If you're ready for more, come join us in our paid membership where we take you through all the things. We support you. We anchor you in. It is the most amazing place in time, space, reality to be. I love you guys. You're amazing. Keep letting all of this out. Keep remembering the truth. And let's create a world I know that we're all ready for. I love you guys. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you next week. And if you're in our membership, I'll see you tomorrow. And also don't forget about our certification and trainings. They start next week. So if you are someone ready to jump in and take this work to the world and learn it deeper and do all the amazing things, come join us in our certification or training. We kick off our next round next week. All right, guys, I love you. Have a beautiful rest of your week and I shall see you soon. Bye.